Hey YouTube and welcome to a new type of video. I know everybody on my channel is used to uh, Minecraft because that is what I do. That is what um, I built my subscriber base off of. But um, it's gotten kind of bland and so this is why I'm starting the new series. This was actually one of the options in the poll uh, that I posted about a three weeks ago i think but anyways um we are playing wizard 101 which is basically a role-playing game i encourage you to stick along if you haven't um seen or heard of this game before because it is a lot of fun and uh i will be playing through this game with my friend kane we've been playing for wow i haven't played in eight months but he's been playing with me for probably like two years now say hello hey and uh, we're going to create two new wizards. I'm going to have to delete a wizard as well as him, but I think he already deleted his. Yep. So we're good. Level, Rip. level 74 fire. <laughs> Rip life wizard. So yeah, we are going to be creating new characters. I'm going to have to say goodbye to this guy, Hunter Lifeblade, Abracadabra, you are gone. I'm going to be creating a death wizard. Kane will be creating a fire, right? Fire. Yeah. All right, so let's just skip this, Ambrose. I have to talk with oh, Ambrose I'm, right now. I, I gotta, I gotta start too. Gotta maybe start. should, maybe skip should the show test. them what he says though. <laughs> oh, rip. Maybe not the, maybe not the test, but like. Anyways. To show you what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So I am going to be death this game. Not death. Death. Basically, death wizards are brave, intelligent, and. The whole concept is that they drain other people's health and heal it to themselves. So the whole concept of this game is that you are a hero along with many other people and I... you're trying to prevent said evil wizard from taking over the city. And as you go through the game, you get sent to new worlds, you have to get gear, you have to defeat monsters, mobs to ultimately beat the game. But the game really never ends, which is one of the great things about it. It's like a choose your own adventure kind of game, but uh, you, there's a bunch of different routes you can take. So I'm going to be playing the death wizard. I'm going to be oh, a man. boy. We're going hey, to dude. create the swaggy guy. In summer, that'd be cool. Luke skull. I'll do no. I'll do Luke shadow. Uh, yeah, I guess Luke shadow's fine. I'll be Kane summer. Oh, either Kane summer or Kane flame. Which one do you think? Uh, I like Kane flame. Yeah, it's. Like, it almost rhymes, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, Luke Shadow it is, with none as the third name. Awesome. Yeah, you can, you can do three names, and then you don't even have to have a last name. Luke Shadow it is. I'm gonna click play. <laughs> so now, we can literally just walk around and be free. So, just to go through places, you go through doors and stuff, and you can explore. And these are other players, other low-level players that people's... That are sitting on their computers and also playing but we will talk to merle ambrose and get our very first quest well official quest i guess um so yeah welcome to wizard city oh i'm so excited all right so we are going to have to go talk to private stilson we are going to go talk to him this is going to be the first like trip that we make oh uh you want to explain what the commons is? Yeah, so in each area, there is a section, like an oasis almost, that you can just go to and hang out. Uh, the commons is the one in Wizard City, and as we get to New World, more will be introduced. And you can enter New World through the commons. The commons kind of lead you to different places. They're like, I don't know, like the town square of Wizard 101. But yeah, and through this little thing on the screen, it shows you um, what you'll get to do as you keep playing on. At level 3, we craft. At level 5, you can get a pet. At level 7, you can catch fish. At level 10, you can PvP, player versus player. At level 12, you can garden. And at level 5, you can purchase castle. Or at level 15. Oops. So I'm going to head to the commons and meet up with Senior Kane. What? Not to the commons. Or wherever. Unicorn way. I'll be... I ride a dragon. Oh, uh, mounts. Yeah. Mounts are, uh... Things that you can like ride to make you move faster. Mm -hmm. Really, people don't really ride them to move faster. They just like to ride them to look cooler. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's also these swaggy air, like arrow things that are at the bottom of the screen that 
point to where your quest is supposed to be, so you can just follow those if you don't know the map very well. And yeah, if you're new helps. to the game. And when, especially when you're exploring new areas and you don't know where to go. Let's head yeah, over, really start our first awesome. quest. We have to defeat Lost Souls in Unicorn Way. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Let's go in. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot easier questing like together because you just go faster and you can get more people in your battle. Yeah. And yeah. Our wands one shot these guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, blade me, man. <laughs> blade me, man. I need the buff. There's also blades and shields. Obviously, blades would deal more damage, shield would reduce the damage. Oh, thank you, Rufus. Oh Rufus gosh, is feeling already. generous today. He just wants to heal me. I'm just using fire pets, I'm not using healing ones. <laughs> the thing is, your pets are amazing because they can cast whenever they want. It's completely computer generated <laughs> when they will cast. Sometimes they'll just sometimes they'll just save you. See look at this. He's just doing it. He's <laughs> for, just casting for the stuff. Walls. We already won. He's just casting spells. We need to uh, defeat two here. more lost souls. Go let's go to a crowd of them. Well we're, we're back here. Bring a guy in. No, no, kill it yet. Bring somebody in. Oh oops. Uh, they're pretty far away. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna introduce the first damage over time spell. Why not? So basically what damage over time spells is... Well, are... Are that they deal damage initially... Uh, I can't even talk, you explain. Oh, da <laughs> damage over time spells pretty much deal damage over time. So, like, on the card it will say... It will show you the base damage and it will do plus and... It'll say more damage, and that's the damage it'll do, and it'll say over three rounds. So it just so his attack just did the basic damage, and over time it's going to deal more damage. Eat. And see, we didn't even we didn't even touch him, and he died. Yeah, that's how just easy he was. He was just really bad. So uh, that was our first quest, and we're going to go and uh, finish up this quest. Talk to. Mr. Connolly over here, Private Connolly, to finish this quest. I gotta talk to this dude. He wants us to talk to Sarah Nightchant. Oh look, he, he looks high. It's Greetings. okay, man. Greetings, Saren. Oh. Belinda sent him. Belinda Wu is the life school teacher. She's also a cow. Yeah. Oh look, this person has a side quest. Let's just pick it up. We're not gonna focus on getting side quests. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay let's, let's go defeat some dark fairies. And they want the dark fairy. Okay. Uh, I will start off by just using a wand spell. Oh, fire cat. Okay. Ow. The spells have a certain amount of pips, like right where you see my wand is right now. Each Each one costs a certain amount of pips. And right, we start we start with two. Usually you'll start with one unless you buy this wand. Uh-huh. But basically each spell costs pips, and when you use the spell, you lose those pips. Oh my god. Pet loves you. My pet is just like you will never take damage. Your health will always be at max. Now I get to use my spell. Go fire cat. I really wish I had a good fire pet for this occasion. Oh my gosh. Oh, it fizzled. Oh, well, that was oh. a good example of the first fizzle. Oh boy. Spells fizzle basically when uh, the percentage is not 100%. Next to the spell, it says, what's the odds of it working? Which one are you attacking, by the way? Uh, second one. Okay, I'll attack the first one. Uh, each spell has an odd, like an odds of working. And 70% is uh, storm. 80% is myth and ice. 75% is fire, 85% is death and balance, and 90% is life. These are all general, like numbers. That's usually what it will be. Oh my god, pet, thank you. So his spells work 75% of the time. Do you feed it like cookies or something? Because it seems to love you. Yeah, lots oh, of yeah, cookies. Fire cat. Oh my gosh, you didn't kill it, you failed me. Most spells have a certain amount of damage that they'll do, like, in between said damage and said damage. And of course, of course, mine does the minimum damage. <laughs> yeah. It's all of course. roll of the dice. I'll blade you up, man. This is a blade. Me blade. Up. Oh, yeah. It will boost a certain spell by said amount. This, this blade should give 20% boost. 
Go, Pat. Cast the spell. Blades for days. That's the balance blade, dude. Mm -hmm. Boosted. GG. Cool. Yeah. Now we have to go back to Mr. Saren Night Chant. Just, well, if you were just teleporting the entire time, then what's the point of even putting scenery in? Yeah. Oh, All yes, right, what do we have finally. to do now? Do you know Lady what? How'd you level up? Because I'm popular. What the heck? All right, yeah, this, like we have pig. made it to Lady Oriel. Cool. Look at my pig. I want to see your pig. Uh. Oh like my a, god, it's like a samurai. Hold on, hold on, wait. I think I, I think it will dance when I dance. Okay, get it to Can dance. Oh yeah, check that out. Mm. Oh wait, my my Rufus knows how to dance better. Okay, we're gonna dance. Uh, this guy does the moonwalk. Dance. Oh my Rufus gosh, jumps, jumps up and down. He so. jumps up and down. My my pig spins on his back. Let's have a dance off, man. Also, if you're a member, you can use certain emotes, such as this. Oh my god, it looks so dumb. Funky! Funky! Woo! You know what time it is. Hammer time! Do, 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 oh, do. Gangnam Style. <laughs> Wait, you can do Gangnam Style? It's Opa. Okay. Opa Gangnam Style. <laughs> That's not how it is. Oh, that there it is. There it is. Yeah, well, he, he's, he spins his hand in the air or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Okay. All right, now oh, let's did, actually did, play the game. Did you enjoy our dancing? <laughs> she, she looks like she did. There were hackers in our call. What the heck? Yeah, they I'm scared. They scare me. I'm spooked. Spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. We, well, we didn't get to see the cool animation. I guess another day. We will see it. Have I shown the dark sprite animation? I don't think I have. Well, they've yeah. seen it from yeah. the dark fairies using it. But... Yeah, it was a cool um, uh, animation that the fairy did. Die! Max damage. All right. Oh, oh my God! We I need to defeat one, one more fairy. Ooh, there's these little wisps that, that give me mana. Gotta show them what a trap is. Basically, it boosts damage. It's like a blade, except except it goes around them instead well, of buffing faint. you. This one is a special card. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Oh, it's my pet spell, so he's gonna dance for us. Yeah. So that's faint. Pretty much, you put a trap on uh, your target and yourself, but the one on your target is a lot more. So then, observe as this. Boost is the next attack. Uh, next attack. I'll give you a boost it. with my blade too. Oh man, we're gonna do like 400 fire. Ca no, just kidding. I'm gonna fizzle. Ready? I'm gonna fizzle. I bet it. I, I bet it's gonna. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> so See I how much so damage my, it does. I have my blade buff and I have my uh, trap buff, and I did 258. That's so far. Yep. <laughs> well, I think uh, that's gonna wrap up this video of uh, Wizard 101. Basically just going through the tutorial, uh, showing everybody the game, and in the next video we will finish up talking to Lady Oriel and defeat the boss in this area. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.